Okay, so right now we are at Marshall's and we are going to be finishing up our house shopping for house necessities today. Do you have anything to say? I have a lot of studying to do. Uh, I hate school. I think that's a lot of studying to do. So we're going to be doing that right now. So we're just going to take you into Marshall's, see if we find anything we like. And the bebez are in the back. So they're going in with us, and we'll see you in a bit. Bye. So what have you found? Uh, so far, napkins for our our stove and napkin dispenser. <laughs> Paper towel. Paper towel dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> napkin. Oh, babe, these are placemats. Let's get these blue ones. These are cool. You like these blue ones? Well, it's Let like. Come in. One, two, three, six. Cool. The belly to milk. Let me get that out of your face. Hi. Check out all these mugs. If you need mugs, Marshall's the place. Do you want to buy any of these? Knives? So, honestly, I feel like we should get one that has like a holder. Like a it's knife holder. Little... Oh, so you want it like that, not like a knife holder that will sit those. on the... Yeah, because that's just going to create more space in the counter. Okay. So, just kitchen stuff. That one. Let me see it. I think it's good. I think that's a good color. For anything else? In s oh, the shelf liner. Yeah, your dad said we can't um, put anything in yet until we have those. Okay. Yeah, Anything else? Fine. Should we get another one? Yeah. Mm. Decoratory stuff. Someone help us decorate our house. Okay, so we needed towels. Um, we have the non-slip things for the cabinets. Is that the, the non-slip bath mat? Yeah. Non-slip bath mat, I feel like that's really important. Our trash can, because this one was cheap. Our knives, because they were cheap. Right, we have more kitchen supplies in there. Sometimes you can find a lot better deals at like Marshalls or Ross <laughs> compared to Walmart. We went to Walmart yesterday and we've already found nicer quality <laughs> things here compared to Walmart. Um, and Walmart was more expensive, so. So make yeah, sure- Yeah, we're gonna return our, uh, our Trash bin. How much was this trash bin? This is 20 bucks and it's aluminum and the one we got at Walmart is plastic Cheap plastic and it was 20 bucks as well. So we're gonna return that and come get a better one Yeah, so make sure to always check out a bunch of different stores so you can find the best deal Okay, something I've learned from camera's dad is never buy right away always look for different prices So we made the mistake on buying stuff at Walmart. I mean Walmart is still cheap, but Come to Ross, come to TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx Marshalls. you'll find a lot of good deals. Yeah, and it's and it's better quality too. Like it's aluminum compared to the plastic one that was 20 bucks. So we're gonna have to take the plastic one back. But anyways, that's what we found. And I think we're done here after we get all this stuff. This was pretty much like the leftover stuff that we had to get. Um, and then yesterday we got most of our stuff from the 99 cent store. Always go there first because you would be surprised what good stuff you can find there. And then um, our last yesterday was Walmart, and now our last place is Marshalls. So um, I think that's it. Okay. Boo. Cleaner. Boo. Uh, you want that? No. Boo. Boo. Hey guys. <laughs> hey everybody. Okay, so we finished all our shopping. I didn't film all of it because we had like a lot of boring house stuff to get. And so now we're just gonna go to the house. We're gonna go set up some of it and then we're gonna go finish cleaning <gasps> some parts of the house. What? We should have done it before and after everything. Oh, what did I Oh I have a before picture. Okay, well, I have a before picture. You guys are gonna love it. Of what? Of the whole house before we put anything in there. Well, I put that in one of the vlogs. The before? Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna do the after. You guys are gonna love it. I've been filming the whole process. Okay, my bad, jeez. It's okay. So Fabian doesn't watch the vlogs. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go put in some more stuff into the house. 
Um, we should be doing most of the big furniture, heavy lifting stuff for the house on Friday. So you guys are going to be seeing on Saturday that we should be done and maybe moving in on Saturday. So you guys will see. But yeah, anything else? So yeah, we're just going to take stuff to the house and then we're probably going to work out and Fabian has a lot of studying to do. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so we're here at the house. We've been cleaning up everything. Fabian has been cleaning the outside windows with his little cleaning supplies. I've just been cleaning the gym equipment. We put down a new rug. Work out and that's a dirty diaper. Just showing. That's gonna go outside. But, and there's Sophie. But yeah, got some stuff. Sophie's being dramatic, as always. You're the drama queen. Do you want your milk again? God, so picky. Penelope's in her jolly jumper. She still doesn't know how to use it. You don't know how to jump yet? You just stand in it? Fabian's cleaning the windows. Okay, if anybody's wondering how to clean this, watch, come here. I don't know if you can see this haze right here. Let me show you the difference. I just pretty much cleaned this right here. But there's haze right, right there. Can you catch that foot haze? Okay. Okay, look, the best way to get that out is with this uh, razor blade. It's um, considered tinting supplies, but it works amazing to get this haze out. So what you do is you just spray it down <laughs> okay, anyway, so you just spray it down. <laughs> Fabian! Okay, you should be the fail okay. failing people in the infomercials. So, all you do is you just spray it down, spray, give it a good spray, use your blade to get all that haze out. Okay, I see it and working. Gonna get all that nasty gunk out of the. So that doesn't create scratches on it or anything? Nope. Not one bit. Nice. That's awesome. I would have thought that I would put a bunch of scratches this on my window. This is literally what uh, window detailers do. Or not window detailers, uh, window detail? tinters. Oh, window tinters. Yeah. This is a professional tool for window tinting. Nice. And then you just actually. Let me use a professional. Yeah, this is what he did to clean the windows on the inside on our uh, last vlog, I think. The the other side's still kind of dirty, but you get the you get the trick. Okay, let's go see what Sophie's doing. Sophie's making a whole lot of yelling noises in there. Something that I need to point out about babies is that you learn what certain cries mean. So. Sophie's making a ton of noise right now, right? It's literally just her being dramatic. They have their screaming cries when something's really wrong. They have their hungry cries. And then Sophie does something kind of like this when she's just like, where is everybody? Give me attention. So. Yeah, is that what you're doing? You just want attention? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, so they have certain cries and you learn them and you learn what your babies want through their cries. So now that she sees I'm leaving, she's being extra dramatic. Right, mamas? Extra dramatic, Sophie. But anyways, I'm just gonna grab Sophie because she obviously wants attention and then we're gonna go see the finished product for Fabian's windows. And then we're gonna clean the finished cleaning, I think the inside of the house, probably sweep, mop, and then start laying down the rest of the rugs on the places we haven't cleaned. Okay, I'm gonna grab Sophie and then we're gonna go. Okay guys, so I've just been cleaning around the house. Well, Fabian too, he's cleaning the windows. So we've just been trying to clean up everything. 
to clean the bathroom the floor I haven't mopped yet because we still have a lot of work to do so I'm gonna sweep and mop before we move the furniture in which will probably be on Friday so I decided eh, I'll wait but yeah we got a little bath rug a non-slip mat we had started buying our shampoo and conditioner and soap we didn't know that this didn't come with rings so we have to get rings for that and we have our towels, washcloth, me, and start stocking up everything. Just like the things that we've bought so far. But yeah, there's a lot of things we still need, but we have all our starter stuff. Yeah, we're pretty much almost done for the day. Fabian is just spraying. Okay, so. I don't know exactly what this thing is. What is that? What? What is that for? Uh, somebody welded together some, some uh, I don't know, two inch pipe and made it into a coat hanger. Yeah, so. so it's like a little mini closet coat hanger. It was really, really rusted, but Fabian sanded it and now he's spray painting it black. It's huge. So we're pretty much gonna put that in the house and use that as one of our coat hangers. We're still trying to figure out where we're gonna place everything because we have a couch going here. And this is our new mat we just got. Uh, but we have a couch going here. We still need a mat to go here. We're, we just put that right now because it's dirty outside and we haven't sweeped it yet. But this is either gonna go out there or it's gonna go out this front door. But yeah, doing pretty good. The house is coming along. Yeah, so we're just gonna go home and study for a bit, and that will pretty much be it for the day. Okay, we'll see you. Hi. Hi, Bubba. What is this? Is this a camera? Is this a camera? Okay, guys, so I just wanted to do a little review on this camera. So if you have been watching our vlogs recently, we decided to switch from my Canon Rebel T5i. It's a, it's a Canon that was gifted to me by my mom like four years ago. Had only used it for about a year and then put it away and didn't... What? And then I didn't get it back out until I started vlogging, but... We decided that that big bulky camera just wasn't doing it for us, especially since when I would film, it would be like my face like this, even though my arm was like all the way out like this. Literally, you would just see this. So we decided to switch. When we were going in to find a camera, I had seen that like some family vloggers will use the Canon G7X. Yeah, the Canon G7X, because it's a good vlogging camera. It's a good vlogging camera, I would definitely say for its price. But the thing is, what I've found out from online and just from some things that the Best Buy techie workers there would tell me, was that video editing and filming is making a jump from, from quality uh, in 1080 to 4K. So the nice thing about this camera compared to the G7X is that the G7X doesn't film in 4K. Right now the best quality that you can get for a cam camera is 4K. And since Sony is so new, they made the switch recently for their new cameras are all going to be um, able to film in 4K compared to just 1080 uh, quality. And so that's what really sold us on getting this camera instead of the G7X. The only thing is that it's like double the price that the G7X is. So I would definitely say that if you have the money on hand and you want a good quality camera and you see yourself vlogging or you see yourself um, putting out good quality videos in the future, definitely would recommend the camera that I got. It is the Sony RX100. I'll put a link to Best Buy. I'll put a link to Best Buy in my description below for this camera and for the G7X that I was looking into. But I would definitely say that if you are getting into vlogging, G7X, for if dependent on how much you're willing to spend, is like a good starter camera. 
But why I decided on the RX100 for Sony is because Fabian and I are planning on doing this. We're planning on continuing to do this and planning on continuing to vlog and vlog our life and vlog our family. So we thought since we're going to be doing this for the long run, we might as well just get the better quality camera <laughs> since it's putting out better image quality. You got to go big or go home, you know what I mean? We actually haven't even started uploading in 4K video yet. Um, I can, I'll probably upload our next video in 4K just to give you like the difference. I've only been uploading in 1080 so far just because the quality jump from my Rebel um, T5i to this camera is so much better that it's like, oh my God, it can't even get any better than this. I'm just putting out videos in 1080. Um, the only problem is if you don't have a computer that has a lot of space on it or you don't have a hard drive you don't, um, on hand with a lot of space, editing in 4K from your 4K video takes up a whole lot of space on your computer. So just plan ahead on the fact that 4K is expensive. My camera is more expensive because of the 4K and because of the lens as well, but mostly because of the 4K. And if you don't have a computer with a lot of space, you're going to be having to put money into getting a hard drive because the videos that you create with 4K and uploading them in 4K is so much space. For a 20 minute video, probably about 20 gigabytes just to upload a video. So having 4K is a lot more expensive. It really depends on where you see yourself going with your vlogging or where you see yourself going with your, I don't know, movie editing or just taking pictures if it's like a hobby i would say definitely get the g7x instead but if you see yourself i don't know potentially a career out of this maybe you like vlogging to put out content for people like we do maybe you like video editing because you like to make i don't know music videos or something definitely recommend the sony over the g7x i would definitely say that this is the best vlogging camera that there is right now just because i mean the lens is better than a g7x but i would definitely say because it films in 4k the quality is like outrageous i had a comparison on the g7x and the sony quality you can probably look at vi other videos on youtube but the quality difference oh my god it's like crazy so if you're thinking about long-term creating video content or picture content long-term, the quality on this camera is crazy good. So I would definitely recommend it if the price is in your budget. But if you want a half price camera just because you're doing this for a hobby, then Canon G7X I would recommend. But anyways, I just wanted to do a little review on this camera just because I posted a little um, video on my Instagram a couple days ago about my new vlogging setup and I had like a couple comments back on the camera and people wanting to know about it. So I just want to do a little review for you guys just so you know that I'm obsessed with this camera and I love it and it's really good. That's it for the night. I'm probably just going to wait for Fabian to get back so we can say bye to you guys. But for now, just look at Penelope being a little cutie patootie. Being a little cutie patootie. Okay, we'll see you in a second. Bye. Hey guys. Hey okay, so we just wanted to close off the video for today. I wanted to wait for Fabian to finish up at the house before I decided to close off. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And tell your friends and family to subscribe to us and watch us also. Yeah. But... Thank you for coming back, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Good night, Pepez. Bye, Pepez. Bye, Pepez. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in my face? <laughs>